welcome back to our channel today we are covering aws certified solutions architect associate to find the complete list of questions and answers please go to the playlist link provided in the description our team is working hard to keep the content up to date if you find this video helpful please let us know in the comment we really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel today's question is a solutions architect needs to implement a solution to reduce a company's storage cost. All the company's data is in the Amazon S3 standard storage class. The company must keep all data for at least 25 years. Data from the most recent two years must be highly available and immediately retrievable. Which solution will meet these requirements? Option A. Set up an S3 lifecycle policy to transition objects to S3 Glacier Deep Archive immediately. Option B. Set up an S3 lifecycle policy to transition objects to S3 Glacier Deep Archive after 2 years. Option C. Use S3 intelligent tiering. Activate the arching option to ensure that data is archived in S3 Glacier Deep Archive. And option D, set up an S3 lifecycle policy to transition objects to S3 one zone infrequent access immediately and to S3 glacier deep archive after two years. And the correct answer is option D. Next question is, a co media company is evaluating the possibility of moving its systems to the AWS cloud. The company needs at least 10 TB of storage with the maximum possible I.O. performance for video processing, 300 TB of very durable storage for storing media content and 900 TB of storage to meet requirements for archival media that is not in use anymore. Which set of services should a solutions architect recommend to meet these requirements? Option A. Amazon EBS for maximum performance. Amazon S3 for durable data storage and S3 Glacier for archival storage. Option B Amazon EBS for maximum performance, Amazon EPS for a durable data storage and Amazon S3 Glacier for archival storage. Option C Amazon EC2 instance store for maximum performance, Amazon EFS for durable data storage and Amazon S3 for archival storage and option D Amazon EC2 instance store for maximum performance Amazon S3 for glacial durable data storage and Amazon S3 glacial for archival storage and the correct option is option D next question is a company wants to run applications in containers in the AWS cloud. These applications are stateless and can tolerate disruptions within the underlying infrastructure. The company needs solution that minimizes cost and operational overhead. What should a solutions architect do to meet these requirements? Option A. Use spot instances in an Amazon EC2 auto scaling group to run the application containers. Option B Use spot instances in an Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service Managed Node group. Option C Use on demand instances in an Amazon EC2 auto scaling group to run the application containers. And option D, use on-demand instances in an Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service Managed Node Group. And the correct answer is option B. Next question is, a company is running a multi-tier web application on premises. The web application is containerized and runs on a number of Linux hosts. Connected a post the SQL database that contains user records. The operational overhead of maintaining the infrastructure and capacity planning is limiting. The company's growth, a solutions architect must improve the application's infrastructure. Which combination of actions should the solutions architect take to accomplish this? Choose two. 
Option A, migrate the PostgreSQL database to Amazon Aurora. Option B, migrate the web application to be hosted on Amazon EC2 instances. Option C, set up an Amazon CloudFront distribution for the web application content. Option D, set up Amazon Elastic Cache between the web application and the PostgreSQL database. And option E, migrate the web application to be hosted on AWS Fargate with Amazon Elastic Container Service. And the correct answer is option A and E. Next question is, an application runs on Amazon EC2 instances across multiple availability zones. The instances run in an Amazon EC2 auto-scaling group behind an application load balancer. The application performs best when the CPU utilization of the EC2 instances is at or near 40%. What should a solutions architect do to maintain the desired performance across all instances in the group? Option A. Use a simple scaling policy to dynamically scale the auto-scaling group. Option B. Use a target tracking policy to dynamically scale the auto-scaling group. Option C. Use an AWS Lambda function to update the desired auto-scaling group capacity. And Option D. Use scheduled scaling actions to scale up and scale down the auto-scaling group. And the correct answer is option B. Thank you.